So we've looked at the probability that the game ends by Alice ruin, ruining, or 1 minus that is the probability the game ends with Bob ruining, but we might also ask how long do we expect the game to take? What's the expected duration of the game? And we can solve that in a similar way using the similar conditioning on the first step process. So, similar to before, let's put uh, di to be the expected duration of the game from the point that Alice has i pounds. And again, there are some things that we can say about di straight away. First thing is we can say that d0, what's the expected length of the game from the point that Alice has zero pounds? Well, if Alice has zero pounds, she's ruined, so the game's over, so there's no time left. d0 equals zero. But dm, if Alice has m pounds, that means Bob has nothing, and Alice has won all the money, Bob's ruined, and the game's over, so there's no time left to go then either. The game is over because Bob has won. So the only case uh, left to look at is the ones in between, when 1 is less than or equal to i less than m minus 1. And again, we're going to do this conditioning on the first step, this crucial idea for this course, conditioning on the first step. So di equals, well again, Alice might win first round, in which case we've got the expected duration given she wins the first round or Alice might lose the first round in which case we've got the expected duration given she loses uh, she loses the first round again we're using a, a version of the uh, law of Total probability here, right? But this one's got expectations in it instead of probability, but it's the same thing. And I say a couple of sentences about that in the notes if you're interested. So again, what can we say about each of these terms? The probability Alice wins the first round is P. What's the expected duration given she wins the first round? Well, there's the duration of the first round itself, of course, which is 1. And then there's the future duration. And again, by the Markov property, she'll win one pound to go up to i plus one. By the Markov property, it's like she's starting again from i plus one pounds. So that's di plus one. Similarly, the property she loses the first round is q. What's the expected duration given that she loses the first round? It's one for the round itself. When you're looking at durations, don't forget to count the step itself. But then she goes down i minus 1 pounds, by the Markov property, it's like she's starting again. Um, you'll notice we have a p times 1 and a q times 1 there, and p plus q equals 1, so we can actually bring that 1 right out the front, can't we? Make it 1, that's p di plus 1, plus q di minus 1. And so again, we can write everything we've got here, uh, putting all the d's on the left-hand side and putting our conditions on d0 and dm together to have uh, p di plus 1 minus di plus q di minus 1 equals uh, minus 1 once we've taken everything over to that side. And we also have d0 equals 0 and dm equals 0. And look, we've got ourselves another linear difference equation again, an LDE, a linear difference equation. Uh, this one doesn't have 0 on the right-hand side. This one has a minus 1 on the right-hand side. So this one is called inhomogeneous. And again, we'll look at uh, next time, uh, sorry, in the next section, in section 4, how to solve such a linear difference equation. Uh, but again, for the sake of completeness, let's just write down the answer. Uh, again, the answer has this uh, row being equal to q over p, and again, we have a case split depending on whether rho is 1 or not, meaning depending on whether p equals q equals a half or not. So we have uh, 
if rho is not equal to 1, we have this slightly complicated expression, 1 over q minus p, a minus m, 1 minus rho to the a, 1 minus rho to the m, and that's if rho is not equal to 1, or if rho is equal to 1, we have the uh, much nicer expression, a times m minus a. And so in section 4 of the notes, we'll see how to show that that is the solution of the LDE, the linear difference equation. Again, in the notes, I have some sentences at the end about uh, what happens if we're playing against a casino that has lots of money, and I encourage you to read those couple of paragraphs at the end of the notes.